The iconic alien is at it again in Alien Romulus, one of few new summer movies I'll be reviewing this week on CJ at the Movies, along with some new films starring Dan Stevens and Aquafina, the latest collaboration between Matt Damon and Casey Affleck, and she went to Edgy Four's latest directing job. I'm Christopher Zweig. Let's take a look. Our first movie is Alien Romulus, which takes place between the events of the first Alien from 1979 and Aliens from 1986. It tells the story of a group of space colonists who make their way on an abandoned space station for the parts they need to get to a better planet, and of course they don't know about the facehuggers, one of which attacks one of the colonists to lay an alien egg inside, which would soon rip out of the chest and eventually raise some hell. Are you alright? Kelly Spaney plays the main colonist, Rain, who has a synthetic brother named Andy, played by David Johnson, and like Sigourney Weaver's Ripley, this young woman is able to thrive on whatever dangers the alien causes for her and the remaining survivors. Whatever comes, we'll face it together. Let's go. Alien Romulus was directed by Fide Alvarez, who also made Evil Dead and Don't Breathe, and was produced by franchise genius Ridley Scott and franchise producer Walter Hill. Even though we don't get to know much of every human in the movie, we're still given some 80s vibes, great special effects, and a lot of thrilling and bloody moments, and I like how the film wants to live up to the franchise standards without trying so hard. In fact, this is entertaining for fans. Next up, Cuckoo, a psychological horror film set at a resort in the tradition of The Shining and starring Hunter Schaefer as a young musician who is forced to live with her father, stepmother, and sister at a resort in the German Alps owned and operated by their boss, Dan Stevens, who also makes a terrific villain. How would you like to come work for me at the resort? <laughs> this happens sometimes. While her sister suffers from seizures, the teenager deals with a crazy hooded lady who stalks her. Of course, no one believes her except for a mysterious detective played by Jan Blueheart. I'm police investigator Henry Lando. I'd like to ask you a few questions about the incident. I need you to help me find that woman. Cuckoo is a mind-boggling movie, which means it's not always going to be easy to understand, and it's going to take some time for us to process what is really going on at the resort. I still needed time to process things myself, but that doesn't mean I can't enjoy the movie for what it is. In fact, I had fun trying to fit the pieces of this puzzle together, and the performances from Schaefer and Stevens are absolutely brilliant. You could say, this is crazy fun. Up next, The Instigators, the latest collaboration between Ocean's Eleven stars Matt Damon and Casey Affleck. They both play thieves, but in Boston, as they're set to rob a corrupt mayor played by Ron Perlman, but things go AWOL, and now these two go on the run. Tie him up! You got like six zip ties, genius. I have a gun! Hong Chow plays Damon's therapist, who temporarily has to become their hostage when Affleck gets shot and needs a bullet wound taken care of. Committed to her job, she tries to talk some sense in her patient. Sorry, you are driving recklessly! I'm in the middle of a high-speed car chase! Think about the person you want it to be. What kind of person do you want to be? The Instigators was directed by Doug Liman, who hasn't made a good movie since American Made. I think he needs to reflect on his earlier films and remind himself on what made them so stylish. There are some laughs from time to time, and I like Chow as the therapist, but Damon and Affleck basically go through the motions, and the screenplay doesn't offer anything original or surprising. It may be a hit on Apple TV+, Plus, but it wasn't with me. Our next movie is Rob Peace, Chi Wittil Edgy Four's next directing job after the boy who harnessed the wind, and retelling the true story of a young man named Rob Peace who went to Yale and came back as a drug dealer. J. Will is exceptional as the young man, while Mary J. Blige is his hardworking single mother, and Edgy Four is his drug dealing and wrongfully convicted father. How much can you put together for a lawyer? I mean, a good one. There's no. God help me, I love that man, but he will watch you burn to the ground trying to get him out. The centerpiece of the film has Rob trying and failing to prove his father's innocence while resorting to drug dealing to try to develop a medicine for his father's terminal illness. For once in your life, find your dream. It's time for you to fly. So they see, they can. I saw Rob Peace virtually from the Sundance Film Festival last January, and I was given another look recently so I can remind myself on why I like this movie. The screenplay has its setbacks from time to time regarding some conflicts, but it also has some strong and emotional performances that reflect on the pathos, and they all express the right themes regarding racism, careers, behaviors, and futures. So give it a go. And our last movie is Jackpot, which I think is one of the worst films of the year, and I'm being too kind. It takes place in the near future where Los Angeles has a solution for another Great Depression. Whoever wins the lottery jackpot is marked for death until sundown. 
Aquafina plays a struggling actress who hasn't heard about this deadly game, but when she accidentally enters herself in the jackpot and wins, well, you could say all bets are off. What the f ladies? Break a leg means good luck in the theater. Calm down. Back off, Riley. She's my jackpot. <laughs> <laughs> Congrats, Curly. You're famous now. And I'm gonna be rich. Not the heel. Jesus, Hollywood's gotten extremely competitive. Then comes John Cena as a former soldier who becomes her protector for a 10% fee, of course. 10%? What? First five takedowns are free. After that, it'll cost you 10%. That's freebie number two. That's freebie number three. You are really burning through them. I'm keeping track. Jackpot couldn't be more mean-spirited, hostile, and unfunny. I can easily imagine how entertaining a concept like this could be, especially since we had movies like The Purge or Civil War, but only if you want to have characters worth knowing about in such a violent, dystopian world instead of relying on vulgarity for laughs. This movie has only Cena having his vulnerabilities while Aquafina is too cynical and everyone else is aggravating. Director Paul Feig has made some brilliant comedies in the past, but this movie, which actually finds room for Simu Liu, Sean William Scott, and Dolly DeLeon, gambles and loses. Recapping this week's new movies, thumbs up for Alien Romulus, thumbs up for Cuckoo, thumbs down for The Instigators, thumbs up for Raw Peace, and thumbs way down for Jackpot. Well, those are the new movies I'm reviewing this week. I'm Christopher Zweig. Stay safe and I'll see you at the movies. For more amazing content, please like and subscribe to my channels, and please read my reviews at cjatthemovies.com and download the new HD Radio app.